Are you a live streamer looking for an alternative and earning a little bit extra cash? Or are you a viewer who would love to support your favorite live streamer? Then you may want to hear what we have to share in today's video about something that's called quest mode. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you wanna learn all about live streaming like a pro, make sure that you subscribe, turn your bell notifications to on so you don't miss a single video. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about Quest Mode. Uh, Quest Mode is a really cool uh, kind of sponsorship uh, website that uh, you can utilize to help you monetize your streams. You don't have to be an affiliate, you don't have to be a partner, you don't have to be a super user or whatever they call it over on YouTube. Uh, this is available for Mixer, uh, Twitch, and YouTube. I don't think that it's available now for Facebook, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't embed this on your page on Facebook. You probably have to check the terms of services first before doing so. But uh, I have not really pushed it a lot. I do have it on my Twitch page and I've made a little over a hundred dollars just from sitting there. And really the first time I started using it, I did a couple of call to actions on it. And since then I've kind of just let it set and kind of even forgot it was there. Um, so making a little over a hundred dollars, you know, for using quest mode, why not give it a try, give it a shot. Um, so if you stay with me to the very end of the video, I'm going to give you a tip also that will help you possibly monetize, uh, on quest mode, even more so than just putting it on your page. So let's go ahead and switch over screens and I'm going to show you quest mode. Let's do this. Okay, here we are on the quest mode landing page or dashboard, whatever you like to call it. This is my dashboard. And like I said earlier in the video, it's actually $119.50 is what I've made using quest mode. Now this is just putting it on my Twitch page. I shouted it out a few times when I first started using it, but after that I've kind of let it lay dormant. Uh, that's kind of on me as a streamer. I shouldn't be so lazy and possibly try to monetize better as a streamer. So here's the thing. When you start using quest mode, definitely get on the horse and let your viewers know about this. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is we want to go ahead and you're going to click that link down in the description below and it will tell you to link it to your Twitch, your YouTube or your mixer definitely do so there is also a social accounts thing link all your social accounts that you want to to quest mode and play around with it you can start out just with one or two and then go from there first thing we want to do is once you're logged in once you've verified your email you're going to click on show setup steps so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure the quest mode is turned on so definitely do that then we're going to copy our fan link. Now, before we go over any further, we're going to want to capture one of these panel arts. So what you want to do is open it, right click, hit save image as I've already done. So you have option two, which is a different picture. I like that one. That's my fave. Once again, you would right click on it, save as. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our Twitch channel. Now, you can do this on, uh, say, your Mixer. Now, YouTube, I don't know how you would do it on your YouTube. I have to be dead honest with you. Facebook, you would post it in there as you, you would do any other post. And then you probably pin it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click Edit Panels on our channel on Twitch. I've already had one set up, so we're going to hit Remove just for training purposes. Now, we're going to go ahead and add a new one. We're gonna go add a text or image panel, not an extension. I wish it was an extension. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that link in. So what that link is, is that link brings your viewers to your landing page on quest mode. Here's the reason for that is because if you have quest mode and say the viewer already knows about it, they watch other streamers and they're like, oh yeah, 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 I do quest mode over when I'm watching so-and-so. Here's the thing, you want them to re-click on it because anything that they do once they've clicked on yours and say they don't click on anyone else's, you get credit for. Um, where if they don't click off of it, they're just gonna continue giving the other streamer credit for it. You don't want that. We're gonna hit add image now. We're gonna drag that image that I saved. I like the map one, let's put that in there. Make sure we crop it right. Let's drag it all the way over. Boom. 
Now, under description, I'm not going to title it. Uh, I think the title kind of junks it up a little bit, but you, it's your page. You can do what you want to. Uh, description. Uh, to help support the channel, check out some of these free mobile games and apps. And there's not just mobile games and apps on there. There's also PC games, and uh, sometimes they'll have, like, surveys. We're going to hit Submit. Okay. Now we're going to go up and double check it. We're going to unclick edit panels and we are going to check now. So here's the quest mode. Here's our little thing to help support the channel. Check out some of these free mobile games and apps. Let's click on it. Make sure it takes us to the right landing page. And it does. Perfect. Now, if you want to see what the landing page will look like, you can always click preview. And that's what your viewers will see when they click on it. Now, as far as alerts go, you're going to want to copy this link. You're going to want to add this link to your browser sources under whether it be Streamlabs, OBS, OBS Studio, or, or uh, XSplit, whatever streaming software you use, you're going to want to capture it as a browser source and put that link in there. So that way, anytime somebody does something through quest mode, there's going to be an alert. So it's just the same as a follow, somebody cheers, somebody subscribes to your channel, whatnot. This will alert will go off. This will add a little bit more hype to it. Speaking of hype, they also have a bit boss or a cheer boss or a quest mode boss, I should say, uh, also added to there. I don't use it. I use Streamlabs OBS's bit boss. Uh, I seem to get more bits and subs that way versus doing through the quest mode, but that you try it out. I might switch it someday, you know, if I'm getting more money through quest mode, I might switch it over to where people then are battling for position via quest mode versus through the uh, subs and cheers over on Twitch through Streamlabs OBS. Here's the thing, when we come to talk about sponsorship offers, here's the thing, you don't necessarily as a streamer have to take all these sponsorships. So for instance, if I don't like Postmates, I can turn that off. So now that it's off, when somebody lands on my quest mode page, they will not see that offer on there. So uh, say you're dead set against iHeartRadio, you can turn that off. And then if you change your mind, you can turn it back on. That's what's great about this. So you're not necessarily shilling for all these companies. You could be picky and choosy about it. And let's scroll through them real quick here. You'll see there's a lot of mobile uh, apps, whatnot, uh, LifeLock, iPhone only. It, 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 it pretty much tells you what to do. I suggest you even dive into it a little bit and uh, play some of the mobile games. Check them out. See if it's worthy. And that way, if somebody asks you a question, they say, hey, have you played Forge of Empires mobile? Well, yes, I have. I actually quite enjoy it. Or, eh, I didn't find it enjoyable, but you may. Um, it, it, it's, you know, you got to kind of... Uh, Hulu. All of us have used Hulu, right? So, that's a good one. World of Warships, PC game. Uber Eats. Uh, as a matter of fact, for this one, I do believe if they sign up for Uber Eats, uh, they get their free... Uh, they get the first delivery for free. I think it's like they have to put a $12 order in or something like that. So, I mean, it's really cool, the stuff on there. Matter of fact, I played Marvel Conquest of Champions. I've played that one. Uh, there, there's a WWE one I played as well. I've played PUBG Mobile. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things on here. Uh, Survive the Survey. It's just surveys done by Polefish. Uh, some of the surveys last literally five minutes and some other ones can last up to 20 minutes. Now, the ones that are grayed out are ones that they offered uh, earlier on that they don't offer anymore. That doesn't necessarily mean though that I didn't receive the money for. Basically what it is is they're no it's no longer. So these companies right here either didn't renew the contract through Quest Mode. So Quest Mode's no longer pushing them as a sponsor. But yeah, it's really cool though uh, what you can do on here. And then you also have the tips for success. I'm not going to read each individual thing, but definitely take time to read tips for success. And I mean, it really, really will help you out. That's the other thing too that leads. I did tell you that I would share a secret tip with you on quest mode here on how you can probably earn even more. Think about it this way. As a live streamer, whether you're streaming on YouTube, whether you're streaming on Mixer or Twitch or even the new platform DLive, Think about it this way. Your stream, your live stream is a party. If you do not invite people to the party, you can't be sad when no one comes. Here's the thing. If you send out the invitations and only two people show up, then you can be sad. But here's the thing. This is the way I look at it. If I'm sitting on my couch and I'm playing a game and two of my friends come over and hang out with me and sit on the couch and just watch me play games, that's a pretty good time, right? And... If they're doing quest mode and you're getting paid for it, that's even more of a good time. So think about this way. Not just inviting people to the party of the live streams think about quest mode that way when you're not streaming say you're at work or say you're waiting for the bus tweet it 
Put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, put it in your Discord channel. Tell people about Quest Mode. Say, hey, I'm not streaming live today or I'm streaming later live at 4 p.m. Jump on Quest Mode. Try to get as many sub points as possible or uh, see if you can beat this game. I'm at level 15. What level can you get to before I go live? That is a way that you really put it. So think about it this way. Quest Mode is a party too. It's a little side party. Invite people to the party. Let them come. All right. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out this video here where my brother Dale talks about how to get free Lino. What's Lino? Well, Lino's on DLive. What's DLive? Well, ask PewDiePie about it. It's actually a new streaming platform. Check it out.